Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve another exercise on interpenetration of arc. But this time we'll be drawing two pipes that are offset. That means they don't have a common center. Is that okay now? Now, this is what we are about to draw. When I mean offset, if you notice this, is that this pipe entering into this bigger pipe is not they don't have the same center the center of this other one is different from this center this is one's own center and this is this one own center so now it's different from the other one we are solving then they have the same center but here they are offset so let's see how it goes first of all you need to replicate this diagram again so that's what I will do now so let's see how it goes first of all you start drawing from the plan this is the plan this is what the elevation so I start drawing from where from the plan so you take your set square your T square right and you draw um, an horizontal line this way you can see that then a vertical line this way too see that that is what you do first now this is the way they meet now if you look at this circle here we are told that the bigger circle here this one you see diameter is 66 so 66 means that I'm going to take a radius of what 33 now a radius of what 30, 33 will give me 66 so from 1 starting from 1 meaning my 1 is 0 my 2 making 10 this is Let's see here, 3, at this point here, you can see that, that is 33, now, I'll place it at this point here, and I'm going to draw my circle, which I am going to take in, that is the first thing I'll do, now the next thing this is telling me is, that this is actually my center here which we know earlier this is my center so then just taking it out long short long short that is my center there and also this is also my center here Now what you do is you're going to measure from here to here. Distance is what six. So I'm going to measure six from that point. Six. So you're measuring the six, starting from eleven, right? To this point here is six. Eleven. This is zero. This is five, and this is six. Now, from that 6, I'm going to use that 6. I don't have to measure it out, but this is my point 6, right? So, if you look at this very well, I've got in my point 6 here. Now, take from here to here is 54, right? Half of 54 is um, 27. So, I'll measure 27 on my meter rule. I'm going to measure 27 on my meter rule from here. This is 27 here, right? And I'll place it at this center I measured 6 from, and I'll mark up all to the left and also what to the right. This is what's given here. You can see that. Now with that, I'll take my C square. I'll place it on my T square, right? And I'll just draw a line, faint line this way from the circumference of the circle. Please mind that. Then the next one too. 
from the circumference of the circle. You can see that. So now we are now told that from this point here, which is this point, we are going to measure 50. So I'm going to measure what? 50 up. So uh, this point is the same as this point, so I'll measure 50. So from here up to here, and I measure from 1 to 6 is 50 because this is 1 making 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And I'm going to close it up. I'll close it up from here. I'll just stick in here. Close it up. Are you with me? And close them up at this point here too. And I will close here up too. And here too. Can I see that? Now I have successfully drawn this. Now the next thing is going to draw the elevation. This is the plan. I want to draw the elevation. So how will I draw the elevation? I'm only going to just project all these points. Point line, project it up. Then I'll come to the other circumference also. I'm going to what? Project it up. You can see that? So at any radius above the circle, I'll draw a line, which is this line here. Any distance above the circle, so I'll just stick in it and draw my check line. Right? And I'm going to measure distance from here to here is what? 100. So I'll measure 100. From 1 to 11 is 100. Right, so I may just stick in it. Then the same thing too. To draw the top two here, which is from here to here. I'll measure I'll stick in it. Right? So the half of hundred is fifty. If you look at it now, this is 100, 1 to 11 is 100, so if I calculate 50, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 here, so it means that the way to the from here to here is 50, so if you measure from here to this point, to the center of this point is what, 50, so what I'll do is, I'll go to the center of that point, I'm going to draw my center line, let's draw the center line, one long, short, round, Right, so on. I see that. And this one too is the center too. Right. So if you look at this now, if here, if here is 54, automatically here also is what 54. So I'll just take. The measurement of 54 on my metal rule. I take the measurement of 54 on my metal rule from 1 to 64. Is 54. That's why I only need 27. So this is 10, 20, 30. This is 20, right? 10, 27 is here. That the king. So this is seven here. So I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to draw a mark up and a mark down. Right? So in doing that, I'll just take my C square and I'll project this upward. And I'll project this upward too. All good. So in doing that, I'll just move this to this point. Take this line here, the of my T square. I'll just draw from here to this point. And I'm going to close here up to, to this point here. Right? 
and that's over here too. Yeah, and I'm going to close everything up. So I'm closing everything up. I'm closing everything up. So in doing this, we have successfully replicated this diagram here. If you can look at very well, we successfully replicated this diagram here. Right. So now we want to draw the interpenetrating arc. So the only thing you do here is to draw a semicircle close to it. Maybe at this point here, I'm going to draw a line from here to here, faint line. Another line from here to here, faint line. You can see that. And I'm going to take my. Don't forget that this young man here has his own center from here to here, the center. Can you see that? It has its own center. Mm -hmm. So, I'll place it at the center of this one here and gauge it to this point. Then I'll draw. This one center, sorry. So, we just draw this. Take line, not take line. Can I see that? So, the next one too will be from here. This one too. Think line too. You can see that. So this one I said is the center here from this point. From this point is the center of this. Like this. This is this. Yeah. Now what I'll do is. I'll divide this into six, so I can just use the same radius that I have here. I'll place it here. I'll mark here. I'll place it here. I'll also mark here. I'll come to the center here. I'm going to mark up and down. I'll replicate this thing here too. I'll place it here. I'll mark here. I'll place it here. I'll also mark here. And take this point here and mark up and what and down. So with the help of my ruler or I'll draw a line passing through the center. I'll touch that point here. Come here also. Touch this point to here. Then here also. This point. Yeah, also to this point, right? And then here too, here too, here too, here too. And I can notice it, I will say this should be 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Here to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 0. So I go about it. Now I'll project all this point to touch the circumference of the circle. So let's do that. I'll project all this point to touch where? The circumference of the circle. So if I place it this way, one should move to touch the circumference of this, two should also move to touch the circumference of this, three is already there, two also should do the same thing, then one is also do the same thing. Now I'm going to move this also to just come into this point at least to some reasonable length. And here also, coming to this point with some reasonable length. Then here also, let's draw them straight down. And here also, let them straight down. 
Now what you do here is this. With the help of my T square, you see this is point zero. Point zero is touching zero at this point. You can see that. Point zero is touching zero at this point. And the next one is point one. If I drop point one up, point one, point one is touching two points. Here and where? Here, that's point one. Then if I go to this is one one. If I go to point two, point two is touching here and here. Alright. Point three is this. All good. Point three is coming. Also. And point three is here. And also point three is here. Then the next one is point two again from here. This is another point two here and where here. Then we we'll go to point one. Point one is touching here, maybe, and here. Then zero here. It is touching at this point. So how this? The inside guy, my French cup, and join all this together. Next, we'll join all this together. Mm -hmm. So, here too. That's that. Then I stick line then the other one which is this will be um hidden so here will be hidden we shall have this a better still here will be thickened the help of the French cup Okay. And the inside one will be what hidden. If I want it to be hidden, it should be like this. Why is it hidden? Because if you're looking at it from here upward like this, you see all this line here, which is all this part here, but you can't see here. That is why at this point here, I'll make it to be my hidden line. Is that again? So here will be the hidden line. So this is what we are having. So this is the interpenetrating hack. Now we're having two hack because they are not centralized with each other. That's why we're having two hack here. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the like button. Thanks for watching.